Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technical Skills Habiba and today my guest is Inga Urbansis and basically she is a very nice professor of USA and we should welcome her and here is she and as you all know that I have posted some of her pictures throughout the uh, throughout the tour of Pakistan and Karachi she was there and uh, at that moment I met her and it's my personal experience that it's she is such a nice beautiful and calm hearted person and I am very thankful to her that she came in Karachi and met me and uh, I'm very happy to see her again over here live and right now we will discuss about the things she likes in Pakistan. First of all, I would love to say welcome. Hello, how are you, Inga Urbanse? And oh. just introduce yourself briefly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Over to you, so, Inga Urbanse. Thank you, Habiba. Shukriya. I'll try a little bit of my or do. Can you hear me? You can hear me okay, right? So, al salam alaikum. Yeah. Mere naam Inga hai. <laughs> Very my happy is, to hear about that. My name is Inga Urbansik, and yes, I am a professor of English, um, an entrepreneur. I own a travel company uh, and just a person who has a passion in connecting people and cultures all around the world. Uh, my passion is to do this through direct face-to-face -face contact, um, through interactions, through meeting and speaking to each other. So to create understanding among people who might come from different backgrounds and different cultures and different religions. Um, so this is what I do. This is my passion is um, to connect people around the world in this way. Um, so yes, I just came back from two weeks in Karachi. And um, I have to say that it was really, really, truly a, a life changing experience um, to be able to see and meet the people of Pakistan. Um, I've been working with many of them now for for several years, many teachers in Pakistan, many English teachers, also some students like Habiba. Um, I've been really lucky to get to meet over the years and even just help a little bit online through teaching some, um, some English, some cultural training skills, just even just connecting with people from Pakistan. So um, I was really, really lucky to actually be able to be there in person earlier this month and to meet so many um, wonderful people who I have been working with either online through the universities or even just through these types of interviews. Um, I met so many of the people who, had inter who have interviewed me over the past year or so, including Habiba. Um, and her family and her beautiful, beautiful family. So, um, yes, I'm so happy to be here with you today, Habiba. Ah, so, so, so happy to be here with you. Thank you so much. You have the debate for a precious time to us. And it's very amazing when you meet your uh, social media friend and it's such a nice, you know, it's such a nice feeling when I met you in the married hotel. And uh, the next question I would love to ask that in what city you stayed in Pakistan and what the thing you like the most? Okay, yes, that's a great question because I stayed in Karachi. And so my plan was to travel a little bit, you know, actually up into Islamabad as well mm -hmm. during my trip. Um, but due to COVID and travel restrictions, um, I stayed based in Karachi, which actually turned out to be a wonderful experience because that really gave me an opportunity to really explore that city 
and really meet so many people, so many amazing people who lived in Karachi. I think that um, two weeks was not even enough time, even for one city. So um, the most amazing part that I've been telling everybody is the people. That's the, pe that's the people of Pakistan. Um, I was not expecting, Habiba, I was not expecting to be so welcomed. I was not expecting that. I thought I would come to Pakistan, I would meet a couple of people who I was planning to meet, I was visiting yeah. some schools, I was speaking um, at a couple of schools and meeting students, and I thought that was it, and I'll just do that and come home. And what was so amazing to me was to see the outpouring of support and the outpouring of welcome, this welcome from people who I didn't even, I didn't even know who they were. And people were coming and welcoming me and welcoming me like, um, like I've never really experienced before. And this is the part more than anything that really touched my heart and that I will forever remember and really also went to show me the power of these face-to-face -face connections, right? Yeah. Once, yeah. once we have these face-to-face -face connections, we're able to break down all the stereotypes, everything that's in, you know, that's shown to us on the media or from different things where it kind of fades away once we see each other in person and we start to realize that we're just people and we actually can be friends and we can learn a lot about each other. So this is really in Karachi what for me was absolutely the most powerful and the most meaningful part of my trip for sure. That's wonderful. And you know what? Uh, when I hear uh, these uh, reviews, I feel very excited and very happy that uh, someone who visited from the USA and uh, a girl, especially you as a professor, even a woman, came in the, from the USA to Pakistan and uh, here she welcomed all the Pakistani welcomed her. I really appreciate all those Pakistani who welcomed you, and I'm very thankful to all these to all those persons. And it's such a nice thing uh, that we Pakistani, especially we Karachi, we from the Karachi, uh, we always uh, like we are always doing hospitality, hospitality, uh, hospitality. And that's such a great thing for uh, other one. And we should say this, uh, say this uh, deed that whenever someone came from the other country, we should welcome them and we should tell them how beautiful is our country and what the thing you like the most, like uh, in food, in meal, what which thing you like the most, mm. which is at the same time. Of course, it's the biryani, <laughs> right? Of course, the biryani. I um I will say, Habiba, that my very first night yeah. in Karachi, right? My very first night in Karachi, mm -hmm. I was welcomed by mm -hmm. you and your family yeah. and your mom and yeah. your dad and your mom brought me homemade biryani, warm, in containers, to welcome me to Pakistan. And so um, that was really very, so special. It was like a big warm hug welcoming me here in Pakistan. It's so. Yeah, and it's such a great review of biryani. <laughs> 
that I will tell her that you like the most. And whenever you will come over here again, we will always welcome you and we will give you honor. It's it's our responsibility that whenever any any person came from the out country, we should welcome them and we should tell them that what's the specialty of Pakistan and uh, which thing you don't like in Pakistan, like uh, you feel that it should not be do like that, it should be like that, which thing, maybe you don't like the traffic. <laughs> you know what, I have to say, there's, um, every country has its own beauty, right? And every country has its own heartbeat. Every city has its own heartbeat and has its own energy. And so, my experience in Karachi, if I say what I what I didn't like, how can I not like what I saw, right? I was experiencing this city and this heartbeat. And yes, things like the traffic are crazy, but that's a part of what Karachi is. That's like, it, it would be like saying, um, you know, you don't like... Um, this child, but you like this child. It's kind of like you have to take all of it together. So part of making Karachi what it is, is the traffic, is the heat, the population, right? How many people actually are there and the crowds? That's what it is. So, yeah. you know, if you, if someone doesn't like that, then probably they should visit a different city, right? Yeah. You want to go, right? So there's, I can't say that there's anything about Karachi that I'm thinking is bad. There is no, it is, it is Karachi. That's Karachi, right? Yeah, and that's how it's, that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, do you know what? It, it's also known as the city of lights. Mm -hmm. Where where you can see a lot of lights all over the road and when, when you will walk over there at night you will see a lot of lights that's why it's also known as the city of lights and do you know i love karachi <laughs> and uh, what's your goal like you are a professor in virginia tech university am i right I had been working at Virginia Tech University for a long time um, with COVID, okay. just like everyone else. In COVID right now, I'm, I'm working in a different school because you know what's happening, Habiba? And this is okay. probably something okay. that's happening around the world. So you know that I teach international students. So I teach students from everywhere around the world, students who are coming to the US, right? However, with COVID, with COVID, no one's coming, right? So no one is yeah. coming to the US. People are studying online or things like this. So teachers and professors like me, we have had to shuffle around and we've had to go and teach in areas where there are students, where we where they need us, right? So um, yeah, so I had worked with Virginia Tech for, for a long time. Um, and now I have the opportunity because of COVID, um, I have the opportunity to work with younger students. So I'm working right now in a school system with students who are only like in seventh and eighth grade. They're 12, they're like 12 and 13 years old, but they're here. It's mm -hmm. the same thing. They're here from all different countries, right? And they're here, um, they're here just for a couple of years in the US. And so I'm teaching them, I, I see they're a little bit younger than my university students. So I'm able to see at a younger age how to help them grow so that by the time they are in the university, they'll be ready, right? So, um, so this is kind of the beauty I, I'm, I'm teaching right now. I teach, um, I, all levels, all levels. <laughs> so maybe we have bad connections. Uh, yeah. 
so we are here and uh, what's your goals like uh, you had been a professor over there and you teach a long time over there and you are in the USA and you know about the technologies and the, about the world advancement of world COVID-19 so what's your goal uh, like about if I ask you in about five years how would you see yourself over the country? You're a good interviewer, Habiba. Thank <laughs> Those you are so good much. questions. Those are good questions. They're important. It's important for us at every age and every stage of our life to understand where we're going, right? And what the purpose is. And I can say that right now, my purpose continues to be really as strong as ever, which is connecting communities, connecting people around the world. And I do this through education and through travel, through my travel company. So I do this through face-to-face -face travel and through education, through teaching. Um, so my goal, I am currently as well a doctoral student. I'm working on getting in a few years Inshallah, I will have my PhD in international education and education leadership. And I hope to continue to be able to promote these types of opportunities for people to connect around the world. And um, I've done this work now in, in several different countries. I've spent several probably five years now working with students directly in Saudi Arabia. I've worked very extensively in Cuba with direct um, travel experiences, connecting people in Cuba. Um, I've worked on this in the Emirates, in uh, the United Arab Emirates, bringing Americans to Dubai and Abu Dhabi to help them understand the Middle East, Islam to help create, you know, build bridges there. And um, most recently, for about the past four years now or so, I've been involved with Pakistan, with helping students, um, underprivileged students, so students who may not have access to education, um, who may be impoverished in whatever, um, they don't have access to education, I've been very passionate in helping them, either in online trainings. Um, I uh, have supported schools in Pakistan, um, you know, in the development of girls' education. Um, I'm also working with teachers in Pakistan, English teachers, to help um, have collaborative partnerships that we can help share ideas and help to grow um, and share ideas to help our students. Um, and actually most recently I started an organization in, in Pakistan called Patton, which is the Pakistani American Teachers of English Network. And this is an organization which is designed to create opportunities for teachers of English, both in America and in Pakistan, to connect and to support each other and to collaborate. However, if they're presenting together at conferences, they're sharing materials, um, you know, and, and ultimately this will help our students as well, the more that we're doing. So um, I would see Habiba in the next five years. Um, I hope after this welcome in Pakistan, I hope that I will be even more involved in Pakistan. I want to be there to be able to give back to all of you for how much you all have welcomed me. And I see how I can perhaps support, right? Um, it's to work together to build each other up. So my hope is that this partnership and this relationship through the teacher training that I'm doing, through the organizational development, through the travel, even if I start to perhaps bring people to experience Pakistan, right, in the northern areas. Um, I just want to continue every day to help people connect, to create 
once people connect and talk to each other, the, the cultural barriers go away. It breaks down the walls that, that divided us, right? It breaks down the walls and we create understanding and friendships and ultimately peace in my perspective. So all of these things that I'm doing are just, I'm just trying to do my part um, in a very sincere way to, to help the world connect, to, to create a peaceful world with friendships. Yeah, it's amazing. And now, um, I would love to hear about that. And I expect from the government of USA that they should support these type of professors to organize all these events, functions, and whatever they want to do. They should support them. And I have a message to the U.S. government that uh, when, uh, how many professors you have, you have such a nice, uh, you all have such a nice ability. Like you have all, you all have such a nice ability and skills. So they should support to all the professors and whatever they have a dream, like to do a job, like to do something for the other country, for their own country, they must support them. I welcome you to Pakistan and I also expect this from the Pakistani government that they will also support you in whatever programs you want to launch there. It's such a great kind of benefit for all of the Pakistani students that you are use your you such a like you professor in your advances came over there and teach us and course our module of English. It's such a nice blessing. And it's amazing. And I am waiting for you because we're again over here. And the next thing I would love to ask that uh, where in which areas you visited and what the thing you like the most of that areas, like you got Marriott and somewhere else? Well, first of all, I have to say thank you for that lovely You're welcome. wish that, and I I hope as well you know because as it is right now I am this is my passion so um we as I'm an entrepreneur as well I I I am a firm believer in creating the things that you wish existed right so if if you want to do something and it's not there or it's not happening I am a firm believer that you just have to create it. You have to make your own opportunity, right? You want to understand what your passion is and what it is you're trying to do, and then you make it happen, okay? So a part of, a big part, all of it, what I'm doing in Pakistan is on my own. This is my own passion, right? So I am, um, my passion is connecting people. And so at this point, this is funded by me. It's planned by me. Um, the time that I take off, you know, my family is supporting me in this. They believe in this as well. My school um, supports me. My, my colleagues at my doctoral program support me. They give me encouragement. But this is um, this is my initiative, right? This is not sponsored by a government. It's not sponsored by a university or anything. So, um, so I thank you for your kind words in um, requesting that our governments support us in these efforts because. In that way, we can make a bigger impact. And I think that ultimately, this is what our governments are trying to do, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying in the end, diplomats and ambassadors are trying to create opportunities for these connections. And this is what is happening here. After my trip to Pakistan, I was not expecting it. And I saw 
it is happening, right? And since I've been home back in the US, it continues to get stronger. And I continue to think about ways that I can continue to give back and support. So any additional support that we can get in this through schools, through universities, through governments, whatever it is, it just is helpful because right now I'm just a person doing this. That's it. I'm just Inga. I'm just Inga who's trying to make this connection in the world, right? Yeah, but do you know what? You are a firm believer of your dream. And mm -hmm. I wish that you will get your own dream job. And as you are working so hard, so I believe that the person who works hard and who are willing to try to achieve his goal, he will. So I believe that one day you will, as you are working so hard, even you came over here and working so hard. So I saw that the person who are trying to connect those person uh, around the world to achieve his goal, it's such a wonderful thing. And you're not just Inga, you are now a professor. And it's such a great blessing from all of, for all of us Pakistani citizens and uh, all the students. And uh, I'm so happy that uh, your students are also happy to have you. Such a nice professor. Thank you so much for this interview. And you gave us your precious time. Now I want to ask you if you have some leisure time and you would love to give the answer that uh, uh, what's your last message to the youth of Pakistan, to the women of Pakistan, to the students of Pakistan and to me? Oh my gosh. You know what? This is what I want to just come back and hug you all <laughs> and just tell you how great you're all doing. Just um, when I met you all, what I find in the youth of Pakistan, what I see mm -hmm. is a huge determination, a huge mm -hmm. determination to succeed, to be heard, to mm -hmm. be able to contribute to society, right? You are you're a developing country and the the work ethic, especially of people like you, Habiba, who are out, you're you are learning so much online. You're taking courses, you're getting yourself certified in so many different things that are in demand. Your your knowledge, the amount of knowledge and the amount of entrepreneurial spirit and even risk right that the youth what i see that the students in pakistan are taking in order to be successful in order to make a difference in order to contribute right this is what i see is happening and i just want to be there to help you make meet those goals because the passion the ambition the work ethic you guys are working so hard with such limited resources, right? I see your electricity is going in and out, right? I know the air conditioning goes in and out. It's yeah. Ramadan. You're all fasting. Like you have, you're doing this in a different language. It's not even your native language, right? But you keep going. You guys keep going. And this is what I'm saying. Just Keep that drive, guys. Keep that drive. Focus. Look at the big picture. Look at the big picture. Our lives every day get caught up in routine, right? In routine every day. And we get discouraged and depressed. And we think time is going so slowly. But just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And it will, you will make a difference. Don't give up that work ethic. Don't stop learning. Don't stop learning. Become a global citizen. Keep the part of, keep your Pakistani heritage. Keep your language. Keep your culture, right? 
but adapt as well so that you can tap into the global marketplace as a Pakistani and you can be successful and your voice will be heard as a Pakistani for what you believe in as a Pakistani, not as a neutralized person, right? Be Pakistani, but also add to your toolkit become a global citizen, keep practicing English, keep learning critical thinking and independent thought, if you can, you know how you can, and just keep going, keep going. This is my message to all of you. I'm, I am amazingly impressed. Thank you so much. Oh. So we are all in here, and uh, thank you so, so much for your precious time as you are a professor and you, I know that you have such a busy schedule to teach all the students over there. And uh, thank you so much to give us your special time, to give us your precious time. Thank you so much to come Pakistan. And I wish that you will, you will get your dream job over there. And I wish that, that we will meet again in person. Have a good day. Thank you Thanks. so much for your Time. Thank you, Habiba. Allah Hafiz. Have Allah a great Hafiz. day and congratulations to you as well. You did a great interview. Ah, thank you so much. I'll see you soon, okay? Sure. Bye. Bye.